Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise. Welcome back to my channel. Are you subscribed? If you aren't yet, please go and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. You asked for this video and here I am providing my children with what they want. <laughs> Today we're gonna take the Myers-Briggs personality test. This is like a test to see where you fit in amongst 16 personalities. I'm gonna leave the link to do the exact test I'm doing in the description. So if you guys take it, please let me know what your results are. Let's compare our personalities. I'm kind of nervous about this cause you're gonna get like a deep dive into <laughs> my thinking and my feeling. So hopefully it's not too intrusive. So the personality types are kind of split into four different categories. You've got your analysts, your diplomats, your sentinels, whatever the fuck that is, I don't know, <laughs> and your explorers. I think when I did this like six years ago, I think I got the architect or the logician. Or maybe it was an advocate. I don't know. Honestly, that is why we're taking it again, because I have no idea. I just have a feeling that I'm not going to be in the explorers category at all. But yes, let's find out. Take the test. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. Sometimes. Rather tone it down. <laughs> Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Nope. It's gonna be detailed day by day what we're doing. Not minute by minute or like hour by hour. I'm not that crazy. You often think about what you should have said in conversation long after it has taken place. All the time, all the time. Overthink is where you at. <laughs> if your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not to try to solve their problem. I will try and solve their problem. People can rarely upset you. Disagree. People always upset me. Don't hurt my feelings. You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. Yes, I'm an introvert. It's just how I am. I'm also really shy. You rarely worry if you've made a good impression on someone you met. I do worry about that, so disagree. I just want people to like me. I'm very aware of how I come across, I think. I don't want people to dislike me. <laughs> it would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. Ah, uh, okay. This is hard because of the situation we're in at the moment. Usually it's fine. Disagree, but not 100%. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Strongly disagree. <laughs> I am not affectionate. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. That word, methodical, has been used to describe me, so... Yes. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Yes. <laughs> Overthinkers, where you at? <laughs> at parties and similar events, you can mostly be found further away from the action. Yeah, or oh, it depends if I'm really drunk and hanging out with like a small, generally small party, I'll be watching, but not involved, I guess. You often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Yeah, I guess so. You need to be logical, I think, with some things and not just rely on your emotional response to certain situations, I guess. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Yes, I can. I'm actually pretty good at that. When my dog was bitten by a snake, I was like the only one who could call the vet. I was stressed inside, but I could stay calm, whereas my mum was like all over the place. He survived, by the way. He lasted another two years. When in a group of people you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into the conversation. Fuck no. Disagree. <laughs> I don't want to. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. No, you don't put others down to further yourself. It's wrong. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities and your knowledge. I think I get more frustrated. It's like, why did I make a mistake when I know I know this stuff? So I don't really know for that one. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. I try so hard to do this. I don't want to, but sometimes it might get too overwhelming that I do do it. I was taught my entire life that emotions are something that you hide and you don't show to others. So <laughs> that's why I'm like, I will go home and cry about it later. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to quiet ones. No, I love where I live because it is quiet and we have grass and trees and birds making noise because the city is very overwhelming for me. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Ooh, but this is hard. This is so hard to answer. I recently quit my job to listen to my heart and I had to tell my head to be quiet, even though I used my head to make sure that what I was doing was going to work. And in a certain situation, I've had to listen to my heart rather than my head to stop me from running away. 
<laughs> Does that make any sense? Ah, uh, just my head says a lot of things and usually your gut feeling is right. What am I gonna pick? <laughs> it just depends, I don't know. I'm gonna go in the middle because I, I don't know. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than to forgive. I'm not someone who likes revenge, but forgiving is hard because I don't forget but I'm not a revenge person. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. Th I can't compare them. What the fuck kind of question is this? The time that I spend alone is doing things that I like and is work, I guess. But the time I spend with people is like fun. They're just two different things. So I don't know. <laughs> They're equal. 60% of the way through, I need a drink. You feel comfortable walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. No! It's definitely gonna know that I'm an introvert. Your mood can change very quickly. No. But I knew someone who's did and that really impacted me because I couldn't handle the change. <laughs> you often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Sometimes, yeah. Like, what's the point of it all? I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. That's so sad. <laughs> you often talk about your own feelings and emotions. Not really. No. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. Yes, <laughs> I'm an introvert. I need my recharge time. You find it easy to empathize with a person who's gone through something you would never have. Honestly, that is hard. After a long, exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. No, I wanna go home and to bed. You frequently find yourself wondering how technology, technological advancement could change everyday life. Yes, because I am a digital designer. This is my job. This is the world that I'm involved in. Like, how can we go further? You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. I don't really think I think about it because I don't think I do anything that is really gonna impact anyone. <laughs> you still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. Yes, I guess I will still defend whatever I did in the past even if I don't believe it anymore because that's what I believed in at that time. You rarely feel insecure. I used to feel insecure a lot during high school and I guess the last couple of years I've grown into this body and bleh, I'm trying. <laughs> so let's go medium. Ah, oh, it is what I got that really long time ago. Logistian. How the fuck do you say this? Logistian? Fuck, I don't know. So I'm an ISTJ. I am 85% introverted. I am observant rather than intuitive. Yes, I definitely would use observant as a word to describe me. I'm someone who thinks rather than feels. And with my approach to work and planning and decision making, I'm someone who judges those things rather than prospecting which I think is more taking it on a whim type thing. Romantic relationships. Oh, bet you want to know this one. <laughs> Blind dates and random hookups are not my preferred methods for finding potential partners. No! <laughs> Honestly, I would never randomly sleep with someone that I just don't know. It just does not appeal to me. I prefer more responsible, conservative methods of dating, such as dinner with an interested co-worker. No, you don't date within work. No. Or in their more adventurous moods, a setup organized through a mutual friend. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Strengths and weaknesses. I'm honest and direct. I am strong willed, dutiful, very responsible, calm, and practical. <laughs> Create and enforce order. My weakness is stubborn, insensitive. Maybe I could come across as insensitive, but it's not. Always by the book. Yes. <laughs> and unreasonably blame themselves. <laughs> relate. That is the video. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and learned a little bit more about my personality through answering all of these questions. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a thumbs up and also comment what yours is. I want to know. Let's compare. I want to know if any of you guys are the same as me. That would be really interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! This video was so fun and I really liked this comment. Um, I'd never thought about it like that. I revealed some pretty juicy information in my last video. You should go and watch that one next.